it was dramatic though not gonna lie because considering the fact that we live in this era <laughs> it could be anything you know hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm sure you can hear the ice cream truck outside definitely paid for them to be there so they could go with my overall aesthetic I'm joking <laughs> just in case you couldn't tell because a lot of people their sense of humor is shot welcome to my channel you guys or welcome back to my channel if you guys are not new I might look a little revitalized and fresh in the face and that's mainly because I came home from work today and I slept and I really forgot how good I feel when I come home from work and I sleep because yesterday when I came home I did not sleep because I ended up leaving at four, which means that I got home a little bit later to whole hoopla, okay? So, Isn't it weird that we today was a better day, so I came home and I made sure that I slept. Today was an amazing experience. I got a lot of blood draws today. A lot. Even some that were seemingly a little bit more difficult, so, you know, I'm very grateful for that. I had less help than I had yesterday because the lady thought that I was ready. So for the most part, she was just selecting me, selecting me, selecting me, selecting me. And when I say that, I don't mean that she'll, she selected me more than anybody else who was also in the lab. But I mean that I couldn't catch a break. Yesterday in the afternoon too, the lady that I had, she, um, well, I mean, we're open to everybody in there. But one of them, she was really putting the pressure on. And today she was doing the same thing too. Today she took the paper, wrote it up, sent me the people. Took the the draw from me. <clears throat> like after I was done, she took like the vial of blood and whatever. And she gave me somebody else. So she really just kept them coming, which I feel like is good. Because the floor that I am going to be on, it's going to be a lot of drawing blood. Which I'm okay with. So tomorrow, starting tomorrow, which is Wednesday... I'm going to actually go on the unit that I am indeed going to be working on. But I'm not going to be working the day shift. However, they do um, give us some orientation on the day shift, you know. And the lady in the lab was basically saying to me that whatever you're able to learn on this day shift, take that. Because on the night shift, it is going to be a little bit different. So I'm very open to that too. And luckily for me, I have five days of that. So three days this week and two days next week. And then I'm going to transition to the night shift. Which, at this point, I'm kind of excited about the night shift. Because I'm not going to lie, like the subway was so icky and so sticky i was so over it and i'm just like oh my gosh i would very much prefer to do this at night the subway i don't know if i prefer to do the subway so much at night but like early in the mornings when i'm leaving if i have to do the subway it's not the worst thing in the world so like there's that but um i'm actually really excited um every day that i'm there i feel like i get more excited about the job because i'm able to see more components of the job and like the people that I'm going to be working with, I'll get to see that tomorrow because I'm actually going to be on that unit. Even though the people that I am going to see on the unit, there might be um, instances where I do work with one or two of them. And there might not be any instances where I do work with them because that's completely different shifts. And this is the first shift, which is the daytime, and I'm going to be working the third shift. So I don't know. But I feel like I'm... Um, ready and willing to learn all that I can from the people that I will be learning from and one of the ladies the the educator that is um basically heading the orientation she was basically saying to me that listen we have three people that we like to um when there's an orientation we like to give you to those people as your is it preceptors hmm. as your preceptors basically and they're pretty good so I hope the one that I do get she's pretty good very thorough and teaches me everything that I need to know even though I have a friend two friends already working there so when I do start I'm gonna have them there but I don't think it was like my last job where you could just leave your unit and walk to another unit if you're not on break so you know I'm very very excited to be honest but yeah that was um basically the day today I had a scare because I was drawing somebody's blood and they had like a little pimple on their arm I'm gonna actually insert me talking about it on my insta stories so I just got home and before I change and hop into the shower, I figured I'd tell you guys this little story. So I'm at work today and, you know, I get this patient and, you know, as I have my glove on and everything and he rolls his sleeve up for me to draw his blood, I see a pimple on his shoulder, you know, on his like right here. And I'm scared shitless because, bro, 
what what is that so i'm looking at one of the co-workers she's looking at me i'm looking at her we're looking at each other crazy because bro what is that now i'm shit out of luck because this is my patient so by the hook or the crook i'm gonna or whatever that saying is i'm gonna have to draw this man's blood being the me that i am i'm minimizing contact okay and there's a lot of glass but that's not saving me or anybody else so i hurry up and draw the man's blood and i'm telling you i ran in the bathroom and i was in there washing my entire arms down like i was taking a shower because like i said i'm scared shitless and why does that look like what i think it is or it might be because we don't know what it is if it was me and i knew that i had that on me i wouldn't have even rolled my sleeve up past it because i don't want to scare nobody what so i'm about to jump in the shower and scrub my entire body because this this can't be real and once again like in the height of covid i'm gonna be taking my scrubs off at the door am i actually gonna do that i probably am i'm gonna be taking my scrubs off at the door and that be it that should not go inside of the bedroom or just anywhere else in side of the apartment because we just don't know so dramatic it was dramatic though I'm not gonna lie because considering the fact that we live in this era <laughs> it could be anything you know so um yeah and i'm just here i just ate some dinner which is literally leftovers from the food from, from the fridge what am i saying i can't even speak i had less than half of a plate of like halal food and babe reminded me about that last night he was like that food in the fridge is yours i didn't even remember that i had it there was like there's barely anything in the plate so i had that and i had some rice and peas and some ackee and saltfish so that was amazing amazing you know leftovers so um that was good and right now it is 7 20 so i'm not gonna be eating anything else for the rest of the evening and that little nap that i took I feel like it's doing me really, really good. So love that for me. I can't remember if I spoke about this, but I basically bought some because, you know, my daughter is going to high school. So I wanted to get her all the things from early before they go back to school. And so I started buying them and like I'm shipping her stuff. And then I bought Bath and Body Works had this spontaneous little sale where the body mists were for $4.95. And so I'm like, oh my gosh, this is a great opportunity to buy her a few. Because even if one lasts her a few months, she's gonna have some for a while you know and i feel like personal hygiene and you know body odor and everything is to be taken seriously so i bought her some and i sent it to my sister's shipping company because that's how they get things from here in jamaica right except of course if you're sending a barrel and so i sent it to the shipping company and then my sister is saying oh um actually the shipping company customs in jamaica damas customs in jamaica says that they do not honor sales so I just took a screenshot on the website of the date that the sales would have been and the price that I paid for it and I sent it to my sister so hopefully that works because I called Bath and Body Works and asked them to cancel the order. The girl said, oh yes, it's canceled. You're going to get an email confirmation. I didn't get the email confirmation the, the afternoon that I purchased it. The following morning, I'm like, this is a little bit odd. Let me just call her because I saw that they were shipped. So I called and the lady's like, yeah, you know, it said that she did put in a request to have it canceled but it was aborted i said aborted so i explained the whole situation to her and basically she gave me a refund which she told me oh we're gonna credit your account for you know future purchases so i'm like oh okay she's probably gonna send me a gift card or something the lady refunded me and i'm not mad and the items are still on the way so even if i have to pay a pretty penny to clear them it's not that bad because they were literally free so um there's that but there isn't really much else going on so I'll see you guys when something else is happening but i'll insert little clips on the screen of like my day and like what i did throughout the day i had subway for lunch i um ate a banana when i had break and that's what i love the work the um how do i say that the the balance that you get at work in terms of like you don't feel like you're working yourself into the floor you get a break in the morning and then you get an hour lunch and at my last job you got 45 minutes break and they were really sticking to that and they said they give you 15 minutes in the morning you don't have time in the morning to, to take the 15 minutes and so a lot of people would just take an hour for lunch and if something is ever going on you hear them calling you oh lunch is 45 minutes all the ogs are taking an hour lunch what the hell are you talking about me i'm leaving once it's lunch i'm leaving the floor don't call me but i like that it's a more comfortable experience and <laughs> It's a more 
come to late experience and there are adequate breaks where you don't feel like you're burnt out while you're on the job. So that's great. Anyways, I'm rambling. Goodbye.